So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You never give up. You pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you push forward, you move on, you adapt, you overcome. That is what I believe. Yo, what's good, guys? Today's video, plain and simple. You guys saw the crazy boards I've been putting up. You guys have seen the four negates, five negates, easy, with Fluffle, Thunder, Dragon, Pendulums. Today's video, another Patreon video. It, shut up my Patreon, by the way. Go check it out if you guys want me to make any sick Pendulum deck for you guys. I've just started using it again before you said not use it, but... Shout out to Abhishek Joshi. Next two videos. Invoked Pendulums, baby. And I wanted to put the Thunder Dragons in there because it's just too good. And every deck I make for you guys on Patreon is designed to be incredible. Honestly, I am the best innovator of all time. Well, deck, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. So plain and simple, I'm going to be showing you guys two replays. And the replays in a row that happened in a row. It's not like I picked them out. There's just two duels that, that were in a row. Where I just do test hands and show you guys perfection. So without further ado, here is our first duel. We open up, this is our hand. So, yeah, we have a Battery Man 9 Volt and then we do play some Thunder Dragon. Uh, it's a huge Thunder Dragon engine to be honest. Uh, the Thunder Dragon itself, in order to trigger the Invoker, you need to uh, have, uh, you know, Alistair Invoker. So the point of the deck, the new game plan for this deck is uh, pen summon a bunch of one card negates. And when you link away Electrum, so there should be Electrum and Pendulum Summon for one card negates, right? And then uh, Electrum and the one extra card, you go into Alistair the Invoker with one of the Thunder Dragons you have. There's like so many Thunder Dragons in the deck. I'll show you guys the deck list to, uh, the, the, tomorrow. Uh, you, the, making Colossus triggers Alistair the Invoker, uh, the Meltdown Invoker, the Link one. So the second he gets triggered, you simply discard a dead card, get the Invocation, and, and end with a free Macabre at the very end. Or Raijin, but typically Macabre because... Uh, there's a bunch of lights everywhere, so we don't play Raijin. But if there's wins, we play Raijin. But Mikabla is just better. Uh, now, battery. We also play a bunch of Battery Man cards. So we play for we play. Take this in now. This is pure just genius of Steven Trefonaski, the man himself. Thunder Dragons absolutely busted in Pendulums. So Alistair the Invoker, the Meltdown Invoker, is simply a, 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 the Thunder Dragon engine allows you to play it because it's a free fusion card that you just bring up for free. So. We, the Thunder Dragon engine consists of all the Thunder Dragons, all 12 of them. Uh, the level 5, 6 ones, not, uh, Thunder, not the level 1. And we play 3 Solar, 3 Battery Man 9 Bolt because it searches a Battery Man Solar. And we also play 3 Bro Hunter because it searches Battery Man Solar and Battery Man Volt. And in doing so, it allows the other 6 Thunder Dragons we discard to trigger their effects from the hand, allowing almost every single hand to have access to the Thunder Dragons. And in the case where you don't have access to them, like for example, we don't have it right now because we need... Uh, but a, a dumper and a discarder. Then you simply search battery nine volt battery man. You normal summon battery man nine volt or summon it of chronograph whatever, and then you get another battery man. And then just like that, you have uh, a free rank four, a one card rank four, one card interruption. Right. So it's just genius at its finest. Uh, let's get right into the duel. So we serve us right off the bat. I know we have a doctor. Uh, you always use Cerberus instantly first to actually utilize its effect. Then we go up doctor and we're gonna desire it off the bat. Uh, they ash here, whatever. We're gonna bind a lure because that's how we roll. And boom, uh, boom, just like that. We got the dragon dark and a cool, a cool uh, interaction of a lure and dragon, uh, most of the thunder dragons. Or you could, if they trigger, uh, their effects get triggered off of uh, a lure. So a lure is busted with thunder dragons. Absolutely incredible. Uh, and you always have a dark because you're playing pendulums. And boom, abductor will trigger. We get that. We summon off the dragon dark. And yeah, just like that, we're rolling. Uh, when Dragon Dark goes to the grave, now we're gonna be able to get two Thunder Dragons off him. I don't know how many we could banish in this situation, but we're we're rolling. We're plusing big time, as you guys see, sending as many one card interruptions as we possibly can with Electrum. We do this cool play there. I'm gonna be doing it a lot uh, because you play so many spells in these engines. So the point, reason why, oh bro, you're playing sixty cards. You're playing three engines in one. You're playing twenty non pendulum cards, bro. I'm playing twenty five spells in the deck. Uh, because you're playing so many power spells, you don't really need to draw two of them, and your whole play is resolved. Abductor becomes absolutely busted. Because you play Abductor, you activate Abductor, you get the plus off Abductor, and typically you don't need to add anything off Electrum anyway. Some theory right here for you guys. Most of the time when I open Abductor, 
I simply just pop abductor with electrum to add back the abductor to tri trigger abductor again that turn. And if I don't have access to abductor, I simply send abductor, add it back with electrum, and try and save my spells for the abductor. Because abductor is broken. You play so many spells, and so many cards that just leave the, sc leave the scale after you play it. You have like to around 25, 30 in total. So, so many free pluses. It's unreal. And then boom, just like that, we have a nice hand right now. Uh, we're going to pen call abductor. And abductor, again, is going to have, uh, it's going to get three uh, counters again, just for free. So we're going to activate a lore here. Uh, that will trigger, and we, we send the whole hand back, uh, except for the, the high skill we won, which was Black Fang. We're not going to be Pendulum summoning the Harmonizing. Boom, we drew the, the Thunder Dragon. We can't activate Desires or Pen Call, but that's fine. We're going to save it for next turn. And it's good that we saved that one Black Fang. We just wanted to save that one scale. And now Abductor, we normal summon that. And just too good at this point, to be honest. Here, we could go into Metalotron. We have so many different plays you could do. Uh, there's so many different access of plays here. So it's like... Look at these situations here. Like, look at this situation. Honestly, look at it. Let's pause here for a bit. I want you guys to take this situation in. I could pendulum summon right now and pendulum summon nothing for my hand. And I would have four negates. I have six cards in hand and two scales. Do you guys see the plusing that Thunder Dragon, like, this, the, that this deck does? This deck pluses like crazy. Pendulum Thunder Dragon, and at the very end, we're dropping the Meltdown Invoker to bring out, to bring out a free Macabre. For free. Like, look at our hand. This hand's busted. We literally have six cards in our hand, and we don't even need to pen summon anything from our hand to have a broken hand. Like, to have a broken field. Both of the Bro Hunter and Dragon Dark can simply go into, uh, they can both simply just go into our boy's Colossus, even right now. Even right now. There's so many different lines of plays we could do here. We could go Colossus, Metaltron, make another Cloud, pen summon. Like, there's so many things we could do. This hand is five negates, four negates easily. So we're going to test around here a bit to see what we want to do. Uh, we didn't even activate that uh, Dark's Effects. We had another card. We had seven cards, bro. Like we could literally, we, we, if we really want to, we can put up four negates on board, and we'd have to discard at the end. Like, it's actually insane. So here we go, Meltdown Invoker, uh, which is, honestly, there's too many lines of play here. I can't even lie. Like, there's too many. We don't even summon uh, a card from there. We use nine volts effect. I get another plus. Why not? Just plus some more. At this point, we don't care. Uh, just throwing you guys the power of it. We could have ended with six, seven cards if we wanted to. And we're just thinking a bit, like, maybe we'll save the Thunder Dragon in hand. We'll summon the level six instead. Uh, so summon the level six instead of level five. Uh, Colossus now triggering uh, the Invoker, getting Invocation to our hand. We're probably going to discard Thunder Dragon. Get Invocation, and boom. Just like that, look at that. Like, we have five cards in our hand. We're, we already have three Negates on board. <laughs> like, there's too many stuff we could do at this point. Uh, and I was just testing by myself here. Uh, I had my other account on so we could test so you guys could see test hands. Uh, these are not duels, guys. It's just test hands. So you guys can get a better feeling of what the deck could do. I will do uh, duels later. It is just Patreon videos. So uh, I'm not going to make 10 Patreon videos on how to deal with hand traps, how to go first, how to go second, how to do this, how to deal with that, how to deal with, with uh, Bud Gates. Rather than doing that, I'm just going to show you guys the power of the deck. And then eventually later when I'm done with Patreon videos, I'm going to showcase you guys how pendulums like the pendulum version I play right now is very similar to all these. Like yeah, bubbles. I I only I did it for Patreon invoked. Yeah, I do love the invoked engine. I might even keep the invoked engine. Bubbles when bubble angel comes out, I'm gonna keep the bubbles. Like there's too many sick ways to play pendulums right now. It's insane. Believe me, pendulum did not die. Uh, does this look like an archetype that's dead? No. Like, I could have put even more negates if I really wanted to. Like the deck's just too powerful for its own good. Uh, like, there's just too much stuff we could do. Uh, we go in boom invocation there. Put up a macabre. Just to create space. I could have put an underclock there with Dragon Roar and then save the Jackal and have a Jackal and Macabre. But I'm like, bro, who cares? I'd rather Metal Trend anyways to get free pluses. And that's the... the there we go. I don't, I'm like, at the end, I'm like, you know, I don't even need to summon that. Boom. Just like that, we got four negates up. Or four interruptions. Uh, we could have easily put a Metal Tron and a Jackal if we wanted to. We wanted the free plus off Metal Tron. And I just wanted to show you how good this uh, actual hand is. Uh, next turn. So what we're going to draw, we're going to have six cards in hand, right? Pendulum Call is going to get us more Pendulums. Desires is going to get another card. That's plus seven cards we have. We're playing 60 card deck. We can desire as many times as we, fucking, as we feel like it. Abductor is going to get us an eighth card. Metaltron is going to get us a ninth card. We're going to start our next one with nine cards. Nine cards. We're going to get any spell trap that can't spell our monster and they can't search. And if we wanted to, we could make it eight cards. And we left a jackal on board too. Five negates, boy. Five negates. You can't play with five negates with eight cards in hand. It's too good. That's the that's duel number one. I'm not gonna showcase you guys uh, the second duel. 
At the end of the day, you're not getting OTK through this board. So you're gonna have eight cards next turn. Unlike Brick Stars, uh, we got Gajonas. With all due respect, Mr. Dennett, yeah. I had no idea you'd gotten experimental surgery to have your balls removed. <laughs> and that's the duel. So I hope you guys like it. We're not gonna show you guys duel number two. They both happen in a row. So we're gonna do this one. Uh, this is the next duel we did right after. Pretty much same situation. I want you guys to see our hand here. We open two pendulums, a dragon, dark, allure, foolish. I always like to see a, a thunder. We have 12 thunder dragons. I always love to see one of them in conjunction with allure. It's beautiful. We're going to foolish off the bat. Probably shouldn't have used that in case of draw. But again, we're just testing to show you guys the hands that are possible with this deck. So just like that, we got two thunder dragons, which means uh, they're going to get double classes on their ass. Which is fantastic because that's what you want to do uh, to destroy them. Now... If numbers serve correctly, we play 20 Thunder Dragons, which is a 60% chance of drawing them, and a 200% chance of winning. But then you take my 75% chance of winning, if we used to go one-on-one, -on -one, and then add 66 and two-thirds percent, I got 141 and two-thirds chance of winning. You heard it there first. My boy knows math. Numbers don't lie. Scott Steiner. Now, next up, we're going to make our Electrum. We have scales, so even if it gets ogred here, we don't care. Uh, we have scales. We're going to pen bare stuff, so we're good. At this point, we're totally good. Uh, we're going to pop the Harmonizing, get the Oaf Dragon, draw a free card. Oaf Dragon, get a free plus. We're plusing like crazy out here. We don't even need to do too much. Like, there's so many lines of plays we could do here. It's insane. Uh, we're like, you know what? We won anyways. I don't think I should have dropped that. I should have dropped the Jackal. Because uh, three Colossus, I realized later, is actually not necessary in the slightest. But hey, that's fine. Uh, it's not that serious, to be honest. I uh, probably should have saved that as well. But hey, that's all good. We're going to go Triple Colossus, I believe. Because uh, there is some swag in Triple Colossus. And we're going to drop an Invoker and a Jackal. We didn't Tribute Summon yet. So Triple Colossus, we're going to then uh, uh, Tribute Summon first. And then Invocation, because I did not Normal Summon yet. Yeah, so I think that I definitely should have normal summon first. So I triple summon metal uh, the metal trap of the jackal. I did not normal summon yet, and then I activate invocation uh, to add two spell counters on jackal and bring out a free macabre. And I actually can't do that. No, I tried to do that <laughs> like Alistair. And boom, just like that's duel number two. Uh, five in the gates up with complete scales, a harmonizing for next turn, and old dragon to add back next turn. We're gonna start with three cards next turn. Uh, that's insane. Like the deck's just too powerful. Uh, it, every turn's like that. This is literally two duels in a row uh, where I just dueled back to back, uh, like by myself, just doing test hands and it was like this. And the next one I did after, uh, it was again three, four in the gates. It's no hands unplayable. Every hand, even through hand traps. Like look at that beginning hand. Like I'm gonna sh like, bro. If you fool, uh, what if you ash the foolish that we started with? It doesn't matter. We still would have done the exact same thing. Like this deck's remarkable. I'm telling you guys right now, this deck's incredible. I love this deck. Uh, something about the inclusion of all these cards makes it incredible it is a fantastic combination that works so 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 well together you cannot refute the greatness of this deck i honestly am the best innovator ever made in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! ever and will eventually be the greatest of all time at this game now i hope you like this deck every other deck is complete garbage they suck every other deck sucks check it out hey that's when i first won the <laughs> wwf title <laughs> yeah man. Oh, this is cool. That's us. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be together. Oh, and, they uh, have. Oh, see you out there later tonight, okay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Except pendulums. Pendulums don't suck. With that being said, I hope you liked the video. Make sure to check out the description below for a bunch of cool things we got going on. Another video tomorrow. The deck list is coming tomorrow, as well as this crazy six interruption board. And I've been doing some ever since I, I made this. I made this post on my community page a few days ago. I've been testing so much. Last night I duel a hundred duels at least. I had so much crazy content for you guys coming with like, Pendulum just destroying the meta, Pendulum destroying everything. I'm just gonna do some Patreon videos and then I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of crazy stuff. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you in the next video. Peace.